Today's a big day, and tonight's an even bigger night because... A big boy bag. We're gonna convert Maccabee's crib into a toddler bed. That means you can get out if you, if you absolutely have to, to go potty. We're gonna change your crib to be a big boy bed. How do you feel about it? Good. Here we go. Now all I had to do was simply turn the crib into a toddler bed. Well, that's a bummer. But we did the wrong side. Ooh. Dad is actually doing it this time. He got the right side. He got the right high. So a little recap didn't go exactly as we planned, but it's functional and Maccabee is loving it. After making quick work of converting the bed, we decided to do a little practice run through with Maccabee. Did you just wake up and feel like you have to go potty? Yeah. Okay, come on, get out of bed. <laughs> okay, he gets out of his big boy bed. Where does he go? Your potty? We could finally rest, knowing Maccabee was ready. Okay. When did you get so big? That was a new big world That's when a hen? That was how he became a man. He went on the Slinky Dog roller coaster. <laughs> As evening came, it was time to put that practice into action. Ah. Maccabee did great last night. He, uh, he slept through the night. Uh, he did fall out of his crib a couple times. Around 1 and 2 a.m. he fell out, but he just got back in and went back to sleep. He's stirring right now, so I'm about to go get him. Did you go potty? You didn't wear a diaper. Makabi is a bad boy. What's that? It's just a pillow. I put it in after you fell out. And then did you fell did you fall out of the crib anymore? Last night? No. Oh, the pillow helped you? Huh? I Let's didn't see. hear well. You didn't hear? <laughs> I hit the big boy bird. Say, good job, brother! Good job, Makavi. He's a big boy! The real challenge might be nap time because uh, makabe has been stirring for like 45 minutes to an hour to fall asleep, so I imagine that will continue. Uh, let's see what happens. We're about um, five minutes in. The first night was about breaking his bed in, but the first nap was about testing his limits. We marveled as Maccabee got out of his bed and went potty all by himself. But then he got up to go potty again just minutes later. Almost an hour and a half in. Mock still hasn't slept. Um, he's gotten up a couple times to go pee, and then he said he had to poop, which he does need my help there. Mock, what do you need? I don't need to poop, Daddy. Mock, you need to sit down if you have to poop. What do you need? I tell Mommy. Update, he's been saying that he's trying to poop for the past 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, you're not trying because you're in the hallway. Go sit on your potty. It's just not working out, so I put a pull-up diaper on him and said he needs to go to sleep. Now he's crying and wants mommy to hug him. There he is. Two hours in, I was about to call it when suddenly Maccabee fell asleep. 
The second night was mostly uneventful. But I did notice that Maccabee fell out of his bed again and was too tired to get back up. I put him back in his bed and he was out the rest of the night. Tonight is uh, Maccabee's third night in his big boy bed. Uh, he didn't end up napping, botched the nap. He's had some meltdowns. One of the effects of this new privilege, might not nap all the time. Are you a little tired? Yeah. Are you a lot tired? No, I'm not a lot tired, a little tired. Just a little tired? Yeah. After staring into the distance for what seemed like forever, Maccabee went to sleep. It was the smoothest night yet. So what are some takeaways from, from this transition to a big boy bed? So he has more responsibilities. He can get out of his, his bed now. And with that comes more choices. He can choose to stay awake and not sleep. He is gonna still have quiet time in his room every day, but he's he's older and he's able to make those choices. I'm realizing Maccabee is is not a rebel. Like in his inner being, in his DNA, uh, he is not trying to rebel against us. The most he is doing with his, this new responsibility is choosing to go potty uh, many times. And if he's trying to leave his room, it's to get my attention so I can help wipe his bum. It's not just to be disobedient. And I appreciate that. And the final takeaway is that Maccabee is a big boy and his dad has proud of him. See that train? On the next Core Vlogs, while editing video footage, Corey discovers he's put on a few pounds. So he decides to join Liv in her postpartum workout plan. Alright, little tiny Cheerios, ladies. Uh. I'm not judging you if you're putting those arms down. I know these are hard. 